Hello everyone! So today it's time for another episode of Drawing Your Art. I thought it was fitting to make another video in this series now because of the Draw This In Your Style hashtag challenge that has been going on all over the internet for the past couple of months or so, where artists post their art for others to recreate and draw in their own style. So, as you may have noticed if you've been here before, I am actually drawing my own character, the Cat Explorer. I haven't really had time to make a proper artwork to share in this style challenge, so I thought I would start this video by doing just that, so that you, if you would like to of course, can try to draw my art in your style. I would be so super happy to see your take on this little fellow. So if you would like to draw this character and do this challenge, please tag me in it so I can see it, and also use the hashtag catvalk so it will be easier for me to find, because I will love to see it and retweet it and share it. So I will recreate three of your pieces today and yes I'm only picking from the draw this catwalk hashtag because this is a collab between you guys and me. So if you have your own character that you would like to see me draw, share your work under hashtag draw this catwalk on Instagram and Twitter because there is where I usually pick the art. And I think it is a really fun way to interact and to collaborate with you and you will have the chance to get your art featured in one of my videos juice if that's worth anything I don't know the only criteria I have is that it has to be your own original art So the first character I'm gonna try to draw is this Opossum Lady by Sleepy Peach Art. I thought it was really cute and unique. I wish though that I made the original art a little more justice. I should have played around with different poses and adding more details. However, if I may put the blame on something, I only had three days to make this video before going out of town to a music festival, so I was in a little bit of a rush. Maybe I should have made less art pieces and not including my own one and just focusing on maybe one or two, but I also really wanted to include more of your guys' art. I'm still super happy with how this turned out, but there could have been a little more effort put into it, I know. I used the Copic Gas and Fuel to outline this piece and to color it in I'm using Copic markers. The flatter colors are actually intentional and not because I'm rushed or anything, I just think it fits very well with this bolder line work style. So in the original art the opossum has boobs and I was contemplating with myself if I should transfer that into my own art but I don't know it just felt strange to me personally. I don't really know why because I don't mind it at all seeing it in the original. I just didn't feel comfortable enough to add it into my own work I guess. But I did some kind of in-between thing where I just made a chest poke out just a little but without making identify viable boobs. I left the skirt without outlines to make it look like this see-through fabric. In the original it has this holographic look to it, like it is shining in different colors. So I added little dots of colors to try to replicate that. The yellow details on her clothes I interpret as gold, I don't know if that is what it's supposed to be, but I needed to add something to make my own art look more interesting. So I took my Gansai Tambi Starry Colors palette by Kurotaki and I added some gold into there. And I think it made my own art pop just a little more. I also took the Gansai Tambi Pearl set and added some shimmery details here and there. I still thought there was something missing though, it is a little empty. 
Since she's holding or creating these glowing energy orbs, I added a little bit of glow around the character too. The green orbs alone did look a little misplaced at first, since there isn't any green anywhere else, but adding more green to the drawing made it look a little more cohesive. So this is how it turned out, thank you Sleepy Peach Art for letting me draw your character. So the next piece I'm gonna try to draw is by Kony Illustration. I love this piece, the color scheme is so gorgeous, I think it is so creative having this galaxy showing in the back of her hair. This one I'm doing with the Gansai Tambi watercolors. I have actually made my own palette with the Gansai Tambi pans, they usually comes in this big cardboard box, but I found it a little clumsy to bring out and use. So I took a larger watercolor tin box that I had at home, and I removed the holder for the smaller pans inside so I could fit the giant Gansai Tambi pans in there. And of course I couldn't fit all the 36 colors in there, it only had room for like 16 or something, but I don't really mind having less pans, I actually like mixing my own colors if I need to. Also, let me know if you like the new camera angle, I'm pretty sure that most of you haven't even noticed it because it isn't really a huge difference, but I know that some of you got a little annoyed by the tilted angle that I had before and I agree it wasn't the best, but now when I have this huge art desk I finally have enough space for my fancy tripod that I bought ages ago, and I can angle the camera at 90 degrees so you can see the art from straight above. You can also see my head bouncing in and out of frame. I will try to keep in mind to not poke the paper with my nose ever so often. I'm loving the colors in this one. I added a little more purple though since I love purple. I do really enjoy working with a lot of colors normally, but sometimes a limited palette is very relaxing to both look at and to make. I'm using the same metallic paints as before, the Starry Colors one. It is so opaque and shiny, I love it, and it looks so good with the blue and purple. I'm also using a Uniball Signo Broad gel pen to add some white little stars as well. I really like that in the original, mixing the gold with the white. I'm super happy with how this one turned out. I like the face and the star freckles, it is so cute. What I do regret though doing here is outlining the hair. I think the outlines looks great in the face with the eyes and nose and mouth, but I should just have made softer blue outlines with the watercolors for the hair. The softer and flowy look kind of disappear with the bolder outlines. Oh well, I still love it though and I had super fun making it, so thank you Kony Illustration. The last one is a more simple piece, but I really like the style. This one is made by Milk2, and I hope I pronounced that right, probably not. As I mentioned before, I wished I've challenged myself even more with different poses and such, but with a limited amount of time that I had, this is what I came up with. I still try to make it in my own style though, and I try to change it a little. So one thing I've come to realize while doing these drawing your art videos is that I have very little imagination to fully recreate and make something new, which I've seen other people do in this challenge. Still so you can see it is the same as the original, but I want to try to actually make new poses and make it even more my style. So that is something I will try to do next time, I think that would be really good practice for me. So let me know if you would like to see more of these videos where I'm drawing your art, leave a like or a comment just to let me know.
The hair in the original seemed to be just lines, like it is made with a fine liner or something. It's a bit hard to see if it is actually colored, but I used this grayish sand color, which I think fitted this character very well. I really liked adding these little flowers around her, I think it brought more life to this piece. So thank you Milk2 for letting me draw your demon character. So I hope you enjoyed this video, let me know if you want to see more drawing your art. Also feel free to draw my character if you want to, I would love to see how you interpret it. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe to my channel if you're new here and click on the little bell icon to get notified every time I post new art and videos and I will see you next time. Keep drawing my happy cats, bye!